Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the second challenge. Start of today's video. We're back with some Power League content. So if you guys missed my community post, I want your guys' help as quickly as possible. So right now in the comment section below, let me know what type of series you want to see on this channel and how you want me to produce content on this channel. Whether I, you know, periodically periodically do like a series like I did with my free to play account. I've got a good idea. We'll go into it when I go into the games, but I just want to hear your guys' suggestions straight away. So in terms of Power League on the main account, I haven't played since my last stream so i feel like this is going to be pretty rage inducing let's just get right into it all right guys jumping into the first game then so we've got split in terms of the bands we definitely want to be banning blue straight away they have first pick so yeah can't let them get the loo on hot zone but i've got a few ideas i've read a few uh posts on my community section and i think one idea that really stuck with me what i'm thinking of doing is i don't have to do my free to play account on my main but essentially maybe every single week i can only pick maybe one brawler from that class and i've got to play them no matter what if that makes sense so for example i can only play one thrower i can only play one tank i can only play one sniper i can only play one tank counter and i can only play though like one of each of those brawlers for a whole week if that makes sense so it really helps you guys prioritize who to max out i think i'm doing it on my free to play account and i'm thinking of doing it with the brawler classes that are already in game so like artillery damage dealer tank uh, i can't remember a few of them off the top of my head because barely anyone uses them support uh, etc but i think that's a good idea i just want to know whether you want to see it on the main account or the free to play account so a lot of things to really digest right now in terms of power league well uh, again i'm slowly getting back into the grind a little bit just need to kick myself up the bum a little bit because you guys really seem to enjoy the Power League content on this channel. So in terms of what we've picked so far, um, Primo is decent, Ruffs is decent, and especially against Grey. And I feel like we can definitely double down on some aggression considering we've, they've got the Grey because Grey won't get much value against any of us. So I'm thinking... I've, told Med, I've got my cheat sheet here. We've got Bull still in play. We have Jackie. Uh, we've still got Squeak last pick that we could go with. Uh, it's looking now nah, we can't go sprout because they've got the gray but squeak could be pretty good against this um spike for sure mr p could actually be very good against gray and spike as well so a few options we can consider cole okay cole is an interesting one uh who could we go against that i guess i haven't really got too many tank counters in there so if we go actually they do have a spike thinking mr p is still against all of that let me where is mr p at yeah let's go with mr p i got to double down on the aggression but i think mr p is a good counter he's still a little bit underrated i was uh, i don't know about underrated but i don't know i see him crop up sometimes in the draft and he's a decent pick but it's got to be t more so as a counter pick especially with spike becoming that's one point i wanted to make uh sorry for the mouse there. I, was, I was using my cheat sheet on my left screen and it goes on screen but anyways i've been seeing a lot more in competitive mr p in retaliation to spike because spike is such a strong brawler in the meta right now he's actually i think the most used hypercharge brawler outside of lou uh in competitive in scrims right now so that is a very interesting stat so mr p might rise because of that because you know b starts to become good gray and mr p is like the best counter to all of those brawlers so i'm gonna look for the pinch here with the gray unfortunately spike's gonna get the kill there because we both double down there on great but we're getting close to our super once we get our super we can start to push back so spike already wasting the ammo there we're going to help this side here we really need our primo to try and get his super we've got our super here oh no our place ah it's the one thing i didn't want to do now it's going to take forever to get my next super fortunately gray's missing every single grapple but it doesn't really matter too much because right now we are getting dominated and of course gray's going to teleport onto us yeah, this couldn't have gone any worse. It really can not But we still have a chance. We have a small chance. 50% left to really go back on. I'm just going to stay this side because this is the only side they need right now. Great every time. I don't know about Mr. P, man. Like, it just feels like any bit of aggression. I just can't deal with it whatsoever. Hopefully, Primo can get his super in time. If not, we're screwed. Yeah, Colt Hypercharge. It's just these Hypercharge brawlers. They're just absolutely insane at the moment. Ah, it's painful. All right, we need to just do better. We need to do better. I, I'll give myself a little bit of leeway. I've not played Power League or basically any Brawl stuff set for the Piggy event since, what, Wednesday? So that's my excuse right there. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm just taking on myself. Right. This should be easy. We have a Ruffs. Um, okay, Primo just wants to go right. 
for whatever reason. I guess it's a little bit harder because of that Cold War break. But let's see here. Let's see if we can get the better of this Colt in a 1v1. We've got some good jukes about us, and if we can get into auto aim range, that's where we'll start cooking. So, yeah, let's try and get into this Colt's face as much as possible. He's going to try and use another gadget, but we're just sitting on his own. Uh, Gray's going to finally kill us, but we managed to get a lot of supercharge. We did much better there. We did definitely ourselves some justice, and we have a super. Finally, we can put it in a much nicer position, and it's going to be really annoying for the Gray and also the Spikes. So we're going to push up with this Mr. P Porter right here. Looks like Colt's going to get taken down. Our Primo's going to get taken down as well. We're going to run straight into the Gray's face. You know what? I'm going to put a more aggro Mr. P to it just to help us on this zone. Colt's going to whiff, whiff a super there. We've got... A, oh, okay. No, he full clips one of our pulses. So that's a little bit unfortunate. And this is looking like an L because our roofs has just been getting deleted every single time here. Ah, 20% left for the enemy team. Not looking good, is it? Not looking good, is it? No porters left either. They're slowly dwindling themselves down. We're just going to have to put a turret in an aggro position. Okay, that Colt super just nearly said no to that one. But we've got a chance here. We've got a chance. If we keep this Mr. P porter alive... I feel like we could definitely win this game, but my teammates need to help a little bit. We've got another super here, which will probably get deleted by the spike anytime soon. Wow, the damage gear actually helps us win that, and somehow we've made a comeback. Hopefully, Ruffs don't... Yeah, okay, he's not got full clips right there. Can he stay alive in time? Okay, well, it, now we're talking. Now we are talking. I don't know what is going wrong at the beginning of the game, but it doesn't matter if we win... In the end of it i really really checked out there i thought we completely lost but after playing well at the beginning that might be the reason why we won that one but again i don't really like the start too much i guess he can get his super a little bit more free from the gray it worked the second time let's try it a third time so these guys are doubling down on me i guess mr p is op or something great uh colt's wasting a little bit of time there so i can start to run forward he's so scared of the auto aim i would be as well mr p auto aim actually is quite lethal he just actually switches oh he gets a full clip onto our premium though that isn't good but spike goes onto the my lane which i definitely wouldn't have done if i were him uses a gadget unnecessarily as well primo with the jump which is going to be really good we can put our mr p porters down here this should actually tank for us right here Okay, somehow that shot sneaks around. I don't know, I was in a weird position there because the spike curveball and then the gray shot. Still felt like I should have stayed alive there. He places another gadget, which is just bizarre to me. I don't know what this spike is really playing at because he's wasting a lot of resources. We're able to get another gadget off. He's just running right into me. Getting some really weird plays. He's going to teleport onto the roofs. Unfortunately, he doesn't pop his sandbags in time, but we've got such a big lead here. We can probably run into the spike if i'm honest we can get another super pretty soon okay that was a bit of a bad player should have just backed off a little bit but my teammates are doing good primo super as well that should get a free kill onto any of those guys and we just need a little bit of percentage left on this right so i'm just going to go over to it get the last percent we need and then primo should be able to finish that one off nice so somehow after a really disastrous start and me just wanting to rage quit the game we end up winning that one somewhat i guess once primo got his supers he became a lot more deadly but yeah, that's going to be the first game right ahead. No idea what happened. Let's go into the next one. Okay, so jumping into the second and final game for today's episode. We've got Dueling Beatles. So again, they have first pick. It's just a no-brainer banning the Lou. And then again, looking at my cheat sheet, which again, shameless plug, but look at my main channel. It is actually really good. Although it's not completely bulletproof, it's just a good refresher because a lot of times with only 20 seconds left, I end up just forgetting so yeah we should have actually banned charlie can't believe anyone on our team didn't ban charlie but they banned it themselves which is really weird i guess oh, okay we're against angel boy i, I didn't see that i'm only first pick ah it's a little bit of a weird one uh gray i don't want to be stuck on gray myself though that is the only issue here but we could maybe go with like a poco or a stew. Ah, we're gonna go stew. I'm a little bit more comfortable in stew, even though while it can be somewhat decent against me, I'm gonna go breakthrough just to break some walls open. That could be actually an okay counter to Bali in a way once we get our first super. But Gray would be a good choice. But the thing is, you don't want to double down. I don't know. I'm not gonna recommend Carl. Mm. Then our Carl seems a lot like last meta because no, we can't go Gray as well. No, please. Oh, we've lost. If so lost, I think. 
I don't know. Uh, I just don't. It's doing great together. It's just so easy to counter. If they just double down on aggression, I feel like it'd be over. But then again, if Gray gets a nice teleport into the middle and just goes like Jackie, maybe Primo, Rosa, there's a lot of good options we could go. If I was our teammate, Rosa definitely would be on the cards right here. They, I just feel like they wouldn't have enough to deal with us, maybe. Let's see what Angel Boy picks. In terms of last picks, yeah, literally Ball, Rosa, Sprout. Okay, they get the Rosa from us, which is the Brawler I definitely wanted. And that's going to be hard. Bro no, 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 no. Do not go the Brock. Please. What can you go instead? If he goes Brock, it's over. Like, there's no chance. I will... I don't know, I'll go like a Shelly probably, or even a Frank something. Yeah, nice. Okay, Shelly's much better. Much, much better. But we do have a wall break of ourselves here. But I, I don't fancy our chances here. They definitely have to draft 100% because Gray and Stu... What, what am I supposed to do against Rosa? I'm just going to take a lot, literally. Uh, let's see what we can do. If we get a good wall break, break as much grass as possible. If Shelly pops off, it can be okay. I guess Gray has to target the Barley and the Bell as much as possible. With his TPs, then we can make it work. Let's get it. Gotta focus up though, because Angel Boy, we guys, you guys know if you watch any bit of competitive, he is the clutch master, so we don't want to be dealing with any of that. But look at the amount of percentage these guys can get just for free. It is kind of insane. But we need that Shelly on the Rosa as quickly as possible. It's not looking good, is it? If we can get into auto aim range on this bell. Just a barley left. But that bell trap. Ugh, could have been the death of me right there. But Rose is going to walk straight back on the zone. And what are we supposed to do? Okay, maybe wiggle our way up. No, it's over. It's just so over. So over. It's painful how... I don't know. The draft's kind of like flipped on its head recently. And people just don't know how to adjust to it. Like, they really, really underrate these tankier options. Let's see right here. Yeah, it's just... It's chalked, isn't it? It is so chalked. Right. Just just end the game. There's no, no chance of us coming back here. Absolute criminals. Whoever... I don't know. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, Shelly just needs to use all of her clay pigeons straight away to get super and destroy that grass because how on earth are we supposed to win if Rose is just in that grass constantly with a stew and a grey? I, I predicted it. It was so obvious by the draft. I know you guys, some of you will say, well, you should have um, suggested him something, but normally I don't like being the person who suggests, suggests because what if it goes wrong? Then you're to blame. At least the randoms, you know, they have their own mind. They have their own mains and whatever. So I kind of try and stay back. I'm suggesting as much as possible unless something's really, really obvious. Like, I don't know, the best run in the game. Charlie's not been picked, so you need to pick her. So, we're going to get tapped by the bell. Ah, just... Yeah, it's over. Shelly had a good chance to break open the grass as well. Maybe I can get super off someone here. Ah, oh, it's just... What am I supposed to do? I can't do anything when there's a 10k HP brawler just sat in the zone with super all of the time. So over. And I guess we can break open a little bit of that. Yeah, it's over. Right. I mean, maybe if I can keep chaining decently. Nice. We have hope. I don't know how long that hope's going to last, but it is hope. Right, let's try and target this Barley. Yeah, no, it's over. Right, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it somehow, because I definitely didn't. And that's going to be them winning the game. But at least you guys learn that you just can't leave Rosa open and not at least try and get some decent counter. By the stats, it looked like I did nothing, but it literally was nothing I could do. That was probably like a 95% draft. Rosa is just insane on here. But let me know, as I said, 
any uh, ideas in terms of series? I mean, what I want to do as well is, like, say, if a new skin like this comes out, like, I'll just play it in Power League and try and get some wins. Just some more fun challenges rather than just trying to play Power League. Make it more fun for myself so I actually upload. But yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.